So I'm working on my art final for Professor Hamblin's class, and the topic or the theme of my project is spiritual art. Um, so for this project, I am using a ceramic clay pot, or plate, sorry, and I will be using acrylic paint. Let's see, I'm sure we can see that. And, um, which is just, I got the paint off at Walmart, and we actually have the plates uh, from the little business my parents do have. We actually make this, so this is what kind of gave me the idea of how to do my project and how to present it. Um, and what I'm doing is I am doing um, Our Lady of Guadalupe, which is very important to my um, Mexican background and my um, Catholic religion. And what I'm going to do specifically is do a scene, uh, which I had played out in my mind that I wanted to do, um, but it, finally going to put it on a subject. So, um, the Lady of Guadalupe is there. I had actually kind of did an outline before I started because um, I'm very picky. But, um, Yes, that's the topic of my art. So um, I'm just gonna record myself working on my project and I'll just probably do a voiceover. Um, so let's get started. I did say we did use pretty bright, vibrant colors. So I started off with green and light green and I used those two colors to do my bushes and my cactus. Um, when I figured the bush was dry, I later went in with yellow, white, pink, and red. Um, just to draw my roses um, and after that I thought it was important to capture Juan Diego as soon as I could just so I can get the whole um, story started so I started with tan and um, did an outline on him with um, sorry black and after that I did use black again just to outline my roses and the bush and after I did use brown and a combination of brown and tan to do the ground. I started with dark brown to give it or to give to, to give it a form, to give the ground a form and I used dark brown like I said. And with a combination of brown and tan, I later filled in the ground. And I did use my finger a lot because I thought it was important to create a smooth transition between those two colors so it won't look too choppy. Um after I did the same with the sky. I used a little bit of green, blue, and the white. Um, and I did that for the sky. And then I thought it was important to uh, give Mary a halo. So I did I did that by using the sky color, but adding a little bit of white um, or more white. And again, I did use my finger to create a smooth transition between those two. Um, and after that, I, I had to do the clouds and... With the clouds, it was a bit more difficult. Um, I wasn't quite sure how to do that one, but I figured it might be the same as the rest of the artwork. So for the clouds, I gave it a white shape and I captured the white clouds shape um, as precise as I could at the top than the bottom. The bottom will, like I said, be transitioned with the sky. And um, to add more of a shape to the top of the cloud, I did use gray. Um, and I use gray to add depth to it as well. So it'll look like there's like one cloud on top of the other. And after I, that's when I decided to add my minor details. I use brown to create mud and create more of a ground looking surface. I added little plants here and there. Um, and I, I thought I was done, but I didn't quite like the background on it yet. So I added little birds to give it more of a symmetrical balance. And the glow on Mary also helps her... Um, seem as the focal point. I added light gray or light green to add depth to the bush as well and that is my final project.